guys to her page, also known as Paige Leanne, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, definitely don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you won't miss out on any of these notifications, and let's get this started. I'm going to try to record today. Um, today is Zion's appointment, his two-month um, checkup appointment. And he has to get shots, y'all. I am so, hmm, I'm so sad, y'all, that he has to get shots. Definitely, I know it's going to have him fussy and sore and aggravated. Right now, I am just feeding him. Also, we are going to see about his face. It ended up clearing up and it literally came back. I was thinking it was baby acne. Now I'm actually curious if he's allergic to the milk or not because he's been spitting up a lot. So yeah, I'm sorry y'all if my angle is all bad, but I'm trying to hold it with one hand and feed him. So y'all bear with me. Okay y'all, so we managed to get everything and get into the truck. We are actually headed now to his doctor appointment. He's still asleep. Um, I ended up going ahead and feeding him before we left the house, um, burped him and everything because like I was saying, he spits up like a lot, like a lot, seriously. That's one of the things I'm going to ask um, his doctor about today because I'm aware all babies spit up, trust me, this is my third, but he does the most with the spitting up. Literally one day, he spit up like halfway across our bed. And one night he spit up um, while I was burping him on my leg this time. And he spit up on our bed. And I mean, I was soaked. He was soaked. I had to get up, take a shower, give him a bath, change. Of course, both of us had to change and change our sheets, had to wash our sheets and stuff. And luckily we have like a mattress cover that's waterproof. So y'all. If you don't have one, you better invest in one, especially if you have a newborn baby or a baby. But yeah, so that is definitely one of my concerns for this doctor appointment. My other concern, of course, is the obvious with his face being broke out because I ended up getting his face to heal up yes um i actually ended up using only one ingredient and i was planning on doing a video on that as well and so i'm not gonna put that all in this video but i got it to clear up which if it was just baby acne i could see that happening clear it all the way up almost and then literally like the next day i noticed it started to come back so, yeah, um, well, like two days later, yeah, it started to show back up because it was clear, yeah, for like two days. So, not too sure um, why and everything. The last thing is he gets choked really bad, and he's been doing this since he was born. Literally, y'all, he's been doing this since he was born. And, like, it got to the point when he was born and we would, it would happen in the um, room we were in, like five nurses or so would just rush into the room and like hurry up and grab them and start patting them on the back and everything. And so, yeah, um, it's kind of always been bad, but I thought it was more or less a newborn thing. And honestly, I thought that it was going to end up blowing over. So I didn't really think too much about it. And yeah, it's not a newborn thing because, <laughs> well, I mean, it could be still, but he's two months and it's still happening. He can just be asleep and out the blue, he'll start getting choked. Um, it's happening now, like when he, after he eats, he can end up getting choked. So yeah, that's really our concern why we even had to get a monitor because we had to make sure that, you know, when we're not around and we can't be around, to make sure that he's not choking. And it's definitely came in handy because it's been sometimes that I'll be in the shower and I had to literally just hop out soaking wet and check on him. Or, you know, we'll be up front and dad 
I have to run back there and check on him if he had the monitor. So it definitely came in handy having the monitor. But at the same time, it's scary because what if that one moment you're not looking or what if you're trying to unchoke him and you just don't succeed in unchoking him. So it can definitely be scary, y'all. The first time it happened at the house with me, I got so freaked out that after I got him unchoked, I started to cry, y'all. Like I was literally crying real tears because it scared me that bad and his breathing had slowed down after i got him unchoked that was such a scary experience like i wouldn't wish that on anybody because it was so scary it really was and stressful but um yeah y'all so that is the main thing like i said the main concerns that i'll be addressing at this doctor appointment yeah, I just got checked out by my doctor. I'm about to get my shots. I'm about to get my shots. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so he did so good. He is all done. Um, he ended up getting three shots. So it's two in this leg, one in this one. I hate to get him back undressed or unzipped just to let y'all see, but he's calm for now. And yeah, his muscle was tense, so that just happened. Poor baby. I mean, he's so calm. He's strong, just like Big Sussy. Big Sussy was the same way. She would holler for the moment and then just get calm. So he's just calm right now. So okay, y'all. So I know I didn't come back when I got in the car to sum up this video. And it's been a lot going on since then. Not even gonna lie. But um, to sum it up and let y'all know I'm actually cooking right now, but I thought I did not come back and end this video. Here goes Zion. Y'all, his face already looks so much better. His doctor is amazing. I'm not even gonna lie. She is Keyshawn's doctor, face doctor, and now Zion's doctor. And she is great. Every, oh my gosh, it's a little annoying net. But every problem that we come to her, it seems like she always has the answer and fix it. But either way, she ended up putting him on, it's a cream that's basically like a steroid, but it's a real low dosage. So it doesn't have any side effects, like basically what you're thinking or what people think when they think of steroids when it comes to their head. And also she ended up, doing this shampoo that is basically the same thing but it's not a steroid and i'm just covering up his information because this is a prescription drug from the prescription store so that is what it's called so it's basically the same thing but like i said it's a shampoo then you do the cream and actually the shampoo was to be used on his face and on his hair so everywhere that he broke out that's basically where I put the shampoo in. It's basically the treated because what he has basically starts in the scalp and it can work its way onto the face, neck, chest, and the upper back. All the areas that he has it is basically where it could be present. And then also we have just the, I think it's what, hydrocortisone ointment. I think I said that right. And this is basically for anti-itching. And so do that for seven days, twice daily on the body rash with this. The shampoo is done twice per week for two to three weeks or until it clears up. And the same with this, it is done, well, this is actually applied once a day for two weeks or until it clears up but you can only use the shampoo two times out the week and basically because she said otherwise it will make this thin out the skin and she said well basically I, I guess make his skin really thin and fragile and probably even dry it out in a sense if you keep using the shampoo so i'm trying to keep his little hat on his head y'all because i washed his hair and i hate just having his hair all you know out and his head out when I wash it. Okay, y'all. So, yeah, that is basically what sums it up with that. And I did that for the first time tonight. And I can already tell a difference. Also, he ended up getting three shots, like I told y'all. 
and I gave him his Tylenol. He took his Tylenol twice, and he's been kind of cranky. He was definitely cranky earlier, but he's been he's been pretty okay since he took his medicine and everything. But I at least wanted to come back and let y'all know how everything went because I just got to thinking to myself and I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't even come back and finish out this video or end this video or let y'all know or anything because like I said, I was actually on the phone with dad after the appointment talking with him, letting him know. And then I was also on the phone with my mom and talking with her and letting her know stuff. So I didn't even get a chance to come back and re record, not even going to lie to y'all but i came back that's what counts so i will see y'all in the next one definitely be sure to like comment and subscribe as usual share sharing is always caring and we'll see y'all in the next one bye